Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module five, lesson six. <clears throat> and in this lesson, we're gonna return to three-dimensional figures. So you're gonna need to get your cones, your spheres, your rectangular prisms, your cylinders, your cubes, get all those things back. And we are gonna have our students put those things together to build magnificent structures, which we're gonna mathematically call composite shapes. And then our students are gonna practice using vocabulary to communicate what they've made with each other. So let's get started. So you've got your figures. Remember we've got your cylinder, your sphere, your cube, your rectangular prism, and your cone. And if you don't have like those classic Montessori wood shapes, wood figures, that's okay. Just use household items that you can find. And the idea would be, teachers and parents, uh, take, a, take a shape, put it behind a, um, a privacy screen, and build something. And as you're building it, use the math vocabulary to describe what you're building and ask your students to try and build the same thing on their table. So as they're listening to you, use your vocabulary, they're responding by using that vocabulary to build on their own desk. And you can say, okay, I'm gonna start with a cube. And then you could say, I'm gonna take the cone and I'm gonna put the circular face down on the top of the cube. And then you could say, and I'm gonna take the cylinder and stand the cylinder up on the circular face, and I will put the cube and the cone on top of that cylinder sitting on the circular face of the cylinder. You get the idea. So essentially what we're doing is we are teaching our students how to use vocabulary to communicate mathematically. And then of course you can reveal your privacy screen and the kids can see what you made and compare it with what they made and just have fun with mathematics and communicating mathematically. And the idea is let your students go home and use the same kind of household items they might be able to find at home to represent cubes, prisms, cylinders, spheres, and cones to replicate that activity at home. Build it, use their vocabulary words as they're building. What's really cool would be if you could get a phone, a cheap smartphone that takes a picture, email it to you as the teacher. Even better, there are some great products out there, and I don't, I don't make money from them, so don't worry. I'm not endorsing because I make money, but Seesaw is a great product that allows students to take pictures and upload it to their account. It's free. It's really wonderful. Another great product is Sesame. Sesame HQ, and I didn't spell it well, but there it is. Sesame HQ is another great product. Man, there's just tons of great products out there that allow the student to document her work and upload it to an account all for free. And that wraps up a quick one. That's first grade module five, lesson six. It's quick, but it's fun. We're playing with three-dimensional shapes to build really cool figures, and then we're gonna be using math vocabulary to describe it.